Hey all you cool cats and kittens, uh, year 10 we are on week 5, can you believe it? Week 5 of <coughs> ooh, ooh, remote business work. Now, um, some amazing answers last week, genuinely, I sent that email out a lot, I was about saying how impressed I was, like Amira's answers were, were amazing, Willow absolutely nailed it, and I know Miss Horn was really impressed, thank you so much for your effort, keep it up. Um, what we thought we'd do is, um, we'd shake it up, like one week do exam questions, one week do something different, like a bit more creative, and do it that way, so that we're still getting that exam technique help but we're also getting a bit of a break and a bit of uh, learning um, on the off week and this is an off week uh, where we do something a bit more creative so let's have a look at the bad boy task that we're going to do so you may remember back in the day we learned about recruitment and we're going to go back to it a little bit and just uh, yeah we, we spent one lesson on this I think and we're going to spend a bit more time so if you remember we have a recruitment process where a business will identify the need for a job they're then going to write a job description, which tells you about what the job is and what tasks you would have to perform, and a person specification, which tells you about the type of person they want for the job. They would then advertise the position, uh, either put an advert out in a magazine or on the in a trade paper or somewhere, or on the front of their shop, perhaps. Um, they're then going to shortlist the candidates, bring it down to a few. If you've got like 20 people apply, you're going to boil it down to five that you might want to interview for the job. You're then going to interview them. And we're going to focus on a few of these things here. The interview where we'd ask questions. Now, um, what I want you to do, I'll show you some documents in a minute, is we've got four tasks that I want you to do before Thursday. Number one is think of a job that you would have, if, if you were rich, you had no money, that you could afford to pay someone to do right now. What is a job that you want someone to do for you right now? Is it you want a maid, a butler, a chef, anything like that? You decide. Number one is creating the job advert. Now, what I want you to have a look at, if I am not fully prepared for this, if I go to uh, Tez, which is one for schools, and I can search for jobs, I'm not looking for a job. Uh, let's look for business. And there's a business teacher at Luton Sixth Form College. Now, I don't want to apply for a job at Luton Sixth Form College, but this picture makes it look very lovely. And if we go down here, Luton Sixth Form College is exceptionally aspirational for young people, and it currently serves, and we're deeply committed to extending our work. And it's it makes it very attractive to work there. So we're not just, when we're selling the job, we're advertising the job, we're not just saying, oh, guys, it's a job, come and be my chef for like £5 an hour. We're saying, hey, I'm a vibrant household looking for an enthusiastic member of staff. We're really trying to sell the fact that people would want to work for you. So that's the first thing to do with the job advert, is make sure that it's attractive and that people do want to come and work for you. Um, the next thing we're going to do is come up with a job description. Now, I'm sending out these documents. These are the actual job descriptions that we use for a business studies teacher. Um, so we've got here the job title, the salary, what the purpose is, who that is. It's a bit boring. Uh, and down here, we've got what the main duties and responsibilities are. Assist the development of programs of study, schemes of assessment. Uh, yeah, we've got... Someone's a bit bored here. But it's really, like, you can have a look through this in your own time. This is basically details everything that you would need to do as a business studies teacher at the Embrook School, um, which is great. So that tells you about the job. That tells you what job we do. The next job is what's called a person specification. Now, this person specification details about the type of person that you want. So we've got here that if you want to apply for to be a business studies teacher at Embrook, you need to have qualified teacher status. It's essential that you are qualified. Now, we've got this other column here, which is desirable. So you've got to have uh, what we call QTS. You've got to be a qualified teacher. You've got to have a degree in that subject. You could have further professional qualifications. You don't have to, but it would be desirable. So what that means is if two people went for the job, one is, uh, they're both qualified teachers, they've both got degrees, but another one's got, you know, uh, a doctorate in education, you might think, yeah, they're going to tip the balance. That's a desirable quality that we'd want. Um, and so we've got abilities and experience and personal qualities down here. They've got to be able to communicate. Down here, they want to have a sense of humour. Might have added that one myself. So this is tracking the type of person that you want for the job. Now, what I would like you to do today, well, over the next four days, please, for Thursday, is I want you to think about that job that you want someone to do in your house. 
And I want you to create a job advert selling your why should they work for you is the first thing. The next thing is create a job description. So I've put a blank uh, template in the folder in the link in the description and on show my homework. Um, so you can use the blank job description. There's a person specification. Again, there's a blank one in there. And then I want you to write five questions that you would ask at the interview and why you would ask them. So if you want to find out um, their motivation behind why they want a job, if you say, why do you want to be my maid? And they say, I'm really passionate about making money. You think, well, then maybe they're not going to clean very well because they just want money. So think of questions of what you want to find out about the person. Um, I can't wait to see what you come up with. In, in all honesty, we did. I remember doing this in class with one of the classes, and some of the questions were ridiculous. As long as you can explain to me why you would ask those questions, I don't mind how ridiculous those questions are. So take some time to have some fun with it. All right, I'm a big fan of all your work. Take care. Look after yourselves. Call a friend. Bye.